What's up, Rockstar? Awesome to see you. Welcome back. I'm Betty Rocker, and today we are continuing with our Bikini Tabata series. We have a totally awesome upper body smash workout to do. It's going to take less than 10 minutes. We have two Tabata supersets to do today, and if you have been following along with this Bikini Tabata series, uh, this has been such a fun experience to do with you. Uh, I've just been loving the comments about how much you appreciate having a workout you can do in such a short amount of time. How sore you are after just a four minute workout. Of course, we're doing two four minute workouts back to back to superset them, but it really is incredible just how effective these Tabatas are. Um, I, I recommend that you check out the benefits of doing um, high intensity interval training. Um, it's one of the staple cardio types of my workout training programs and it's really easy to burn more body fat doing high intensity interval training um, than it is doing steady state cardio alone. Now both have their place in the mix of exercise. There's no one perfect way to exercise, just like there's no one perfect diet, but these different strategies are just great to have um, in your back pocket to tap into at different times. So let's get into today's upper body smash Tabata circuits. Uh, the very first one, I'm going to show you what the moves are, then we're going to do it, and we're going to do the second one together. So uh, move number one is one of my favorites. It's an incline push up clap. That's right. So go ahead and position yourself next to a couch, chair, bench, or pretty much anywhere that you are able to be in an incline position like this. Let's talk about our form. So we're in an incline plank. Our hands are stacked just below our shoulders. Our belly button is in and up, and our body forms a nice straight line. We're gonna lower down, and then we're gonna push up explosively with a clap. Now, it might be a good idea to just work on your push-ups from this position. If you're not quite ready to add in the clap, you feel like you wanna try it, go for it. You can also do this kneeling, which is a great way to build up to the uh, on your toes version. So we're gonna do this with a clap. Again, same thing, nice strong core. We're not bending forward at the waist at any point. We don't have an arched back. Now, if you still want one more variation and you wanna build up your strength, I recommend you do this against a wall. You're gonna put your hands next to each other. You're gonna lower down, press up, and clap. So be where you're at. Remember that in all of these workouts, whatever uh, your best is right now, uh, by doing what you can, you will be building strength in your body towards doing a more intermediate or advanced um, type move. So we all start out somewhere. Be where you're at. Use the modifications that I posted down below this video in the form notes here on the blog so that you have access to the best information to exercise safely. All right, that's the push-up clap. Next move um, is a really fun, really crazy move for our triceps, our core, and that will really get our heart rates up again. So we're gonna come down um, into what's called a reverse tabletop, meaning your feet are on the ground, knees are bent, and our hands are stacked just below our shoulders, and we're in this sort of upright lifted position. Now, the first part of the move is a tricep dip from this position. And you'll notice that my elbows are just bending slightly, and then I'm pressing through the back of my hands to press myself back up. This is a pretty basic tricep move, right? Now, important things to note are that my shoulders are really back. My chest stays really open. That helps to protect my rotator cuff. So you wanna make sure that you're in this position. Now, once you feel like you're cool here, um, you can go ahead and add the kick, which is looks just like this. Now it's easy to get carried away with this and forget your form and your upper body. So take it at a nice steady pace for your first few. This is extremely challenging. You're only going to do it for 20 seconds <laughs> at a time with the, with the uh, Tabata format. So um, work on that. A great way to um, get stronger and not have it be quite so intense is to um, use the side of your couch as an alternative because being up in this position is going to give you just a little bit um, more of balance and you're not going to put quite as much pressure on your wrists or shoulders. So try it from here and you can also just try doing tricep dips for 20 seconds without the kick. Also an awesome variation. Um, if you want to do a different tricep move altogether that doesn't have you have pressure on your wrists, absolutely grab a weight or a water bottle and do a tricep extension overhead. You could do this with running knees if you wanted to get some cardio, um, but I would really recommend 
that you focus on isolating and strengthening those triceps. Notice how my elbows are trying to stay parallel. They're not splaying out to the sides as I raise and lower that weight. So you got a few great options. So let's make the most of this. We're here together for a reason. Let's make it count. I'm gonna press play on the timer. Get into position. Just 20 seconds in each. Come on. Make sure that belly button stays in and up, whether you're doing kneeling or up on your toes. You just have 10 seconds to go. Come on. Oh yeah. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're going to take a quick 10 second rest. Make sure your water bottle is nearby so that you can grab it at any time and you quick sip. Come on down. Reverse tabletop. Open those shoulders and just 20 seconds of the dip kicks. Good. And you can see I'm having just a very small movement of my arms. Just a small dip and a kick. Good. This is a super challenging move. Super proud of you. Last one. Whew. All right. 10 second rest. Have a sip of water. Mm. Getting ready. Round two. Here we go. And press, clap, press, clap. Try to go at the same steady, quick pace that you used in round one. Hold on to that plank form. Oh my goodness, keep up the great work. You got this. Last one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Quick breather. We're gonna come down to our second set, tricep dip kicks. Oh. And here we go. Focus on the dips and then focus on the kicks. Good. Isolate one and then try the other. You can just do dips for a moment or you can just switch to just the kicks, then put them together. Last one. Over before you knew it. <laughs> Great job. I'm already sweating. Ready for round three? All right. <clears throat> Come right on over. Back to your incline surface. And we are already halfway done with our first Tabata. Great job. Keep it up. Last 10 seconds. I know, I'm seeing all those push-ups too. Incline. Oh, five, four, three, two, one. So glad you're doing this with me. Oh my goodness. Come on down. Reverse tabletop. Come on up. Open those shoulders. Dip. And get ready to kick. Took me a second there. Good job. We're all work in progress. Keep going. It's okay if you're not going as fast as me or you're taking a different mod. Be where you're at. Last one. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> so tough. All right, this is our last minute of this Tabata. Come on down. This is your last set of these crazy push-ups. Come on. You can do this. We got this. Last 10 seconds. Come on. Then you're done with your push-ups. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Coming up on tricep dip kicks. Final set. Come on down. Get yourself in position and get ready. This is it. Last 20 seconds. Great job. Kick, kick, work for it. You got this. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Such an awesome, awesome job. All right, we're gonna take a quick breather and stretch for a moment. Let's go ahead and clasp our hands together behind our back. Pull the chest open. Now if you're having any trouble, any trouble reaching for your hands together, pull the towel and pull your chest open with your hands holding a towel behind you. Up, great job. Whew. That's a nice little tricep stretch is to reach for your elbow and pull it down towards your back. Nice work. Let's do the other one. And we really, really just worked our chest there. We're gonna work it again some more and get a little more bicep action. So I want you to chest stretch yourself. This is a great chest stretch to learn. Just hold your arm up against the wall. 
and lean into a small lunge and just allow your chest to open. This is a great stretch to do if you sit at a desk a lot, you work at the computer a lot, or you have your hands in front of you a lot doing a task. I'm gonna do the other side because those muscles get activated quite heavily and then when you go and add extra workout moves that continue to activate them without working your back muscles, which we've talked about in previous blog posts, um, it's really easy to aggravate the rotator cuff. So you wanna make sure that you're always really stretching those chest muscles and doing a balance of back strengthening with your chest and bicep and forward rotation movements. So lots of rowing, lots of back extensions, which is what we're gonna get into next. So our next two moves in our second Tabata set, which is also just four minutes long, uh, <laughs> I gotta have a sip of water. Mm. Our next two moves are two of my favorite moves to pair together. Move one is the burpee. <laughs> you knew it was coming, right? So burpees are just an amazing full body move. They're gonna get our heart rate up, they're gonna get our entire body integrating and working as a unit. It's absolutely fine to slow the burpee down. One of my favorite things to do with the burpee is put it in a Tabata sequence because it's only 20 seconds of burpee. So how many burpees can you do in 20 seconds? Well, challenge yourself and find out. Let's see how the burpee looks with uh, the advanced form. So we're gonna come down, squat down, plant our hands beneath our shoulders, jump our feet back, do a push up, jump our feet back to our hands, and explode up to jump. It's gonna get our heart rate up, it's gonna challenge our chest and biceps a little bit more, and it's also gonna be working that core. Now, great ways to take the burpee down a little bit in, in intensity so that you can get through this workout and get stronger are to calm down, plant your hands, step your feet back, potentially drop to your knees, do your push-up, step your feet back to your hands, and come up into a body squat. You can, at any point, include a jump or a jump here and there um, to do as many jumping moves as you can. This is really for your cardio as well as your upper body. Now move two, we're gonna just change it up. We're gonna take all the work to the posterior chain. So come on down onto your mat and we are going to do some advanced Superman lifts that include a little activation for our mid trap muscles. So you're gonna lift up and squeeze your elbows in towards your rib cage. Legs come up, upper body comes up, and we're gonna do these pretty rapidly because I want you to get the most out of your 20 second block. So it's just lift and squeeze. Now you can definitely work on just the upper body lift if lifting the legs doesn't feel very natural to you, and you can also work on just lifting the legs. The farther out your legs are, the easier it's gonna to be to balance and put that lift together. If you're advanced, try keeping your legs in closer. That will activate and work your lower back muscles just a little bit more. So, I need you for this this four minutes, so get yourself psyched up. This is our final four minutes of exercise together uh, for this workout. So 20 seconds, fall in love with the Tabata Burpee because you only have to do it for 20 seconds. Give it your best shot. Come on. Just, we're already halfway done. With this 20 second block, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, great job. Quick 10 second rest. Get yourself in position. Lay on the floor, right on your stomach. Get ready. Here we go. Lift, squeeze, lift, squeeze. Make these count. You only have 20 seconds here. It's gonna feel like a rest, but you're really activating your paraspinal muscles, your back muscles, your lower back muscles, your glutes. Great job. Last two, last one. Nicely done. All right, second set of burpees. Are you with me? Let's do these. Here we go. Drop it down, press it up, jump if you're jumping. Try to keep that same good fast pace each round that you do. Come on, you got this. Oh. Three, two, one. Great job. Oh my goodness. Whew. Round two, back extension. Here we go. Come down, come into your Superman, and lift and squeeze those elbows in. Get everything out of this that you can. 
Great job. Oh. Come on. A oh. little bit farther. Last two. Last one. Awesome work. This is the halfway point of our workout. Who a sip of water? In position. Burpee set number three. Here we go. Keep going. You are doing so awesome. Just showing up for this. Giving it your best shot is an accomplishment. That's it. That's the last one. Oh. Round three. Superman lifts. Come on down. Here we go. Lift, squeeze. Lift, squeeze. Great job. Come on. Lift, lift. This is the third set. Just one more to go. You are so close. Last one. Oh. Quick rest. This is your last set of herpes. On your feet. You got this. Come on. We got this. We got this, Rockstar. Come on. Be mindful of those forearm push ups. Keep your core lined up, belly button in and up. Each time you come into plank, you got it. Last two. Last one. So good. So awesome. Down. Superman lift. Here we go. Last set. Make this count. Push it. To the end. You got it. You're doing so great. Just a couple more. Come on. Three, two, one. Oh, amazing job. You are such a rock star. Are you ready for it? Here she goes. Your timer is complete. Your timer is complete. Our favorite saying from our friend, the Seconds Pro Lady. Such a great app. Highly recommended. Okay, you did such an amazing job today with this workout. Super, super proud of you. I uh, am, am so uh, in love with these home workouts that you can do in a short amount of time. I feel like working out is almost like a game. Like I feel like, how can I turn my environment into a workout station no matter where I'm at, right? How can I challenge myself today to get four minutes of exercise? And I'm telling you, a four minute exercise block like one of these Tabatas, if that's all the time you have, is going to make a difference to you if you are being consistent. I know it's hard sometimes to fit in exercise. I know it's hard to stay motivated. So I encourage you to challenge yourself, to see it as a game, to share fitness with your family and friends, to show them how you're showing up for yourself and fitting in what you can and being a rock star because we're in this together. You are so awesome. I would love to have you join us for our July Summer Shred 30 Day Challenge in the Rocket Life community. So check out the link below this video. I would really love to have you there for that. Keep being the amazing, awesome person that you are and, and making your fitness fun by doing these quick, effective workouts, making the time for yourself because you deserve it. I'm Betty Rocker. You are so awesome and amazing and I'll see you again next time. Bye.